friends welcome to another session and here we would be discussing uh, something about the user sessions so if you talk about the java jvm you know you have the http session uh, which is maintained on the uh, server per user for every user and once that timeout period for the session reaches the user session is destroyed now usually the session can contain usernames and password any any information like in case of a shopping cart all the uh, wish list and all the items he is bought so a track of all the activity he does on a web page everything is stored in the http session specifically the username and password as well okay friends uh, here you see a ticket booking website that i logged on to quite some time back and now we'll try to book some tickets and because i have been inactive for a considerable amount of time i believe my session should have expired my session should have timed out and thus it should ask me to re-log in with a new http session let's see if that is what happens here i click so friends you see i was kicked out i was logged out and it took me back to the login page because i was inactive for a while and hence my session was destroyed Likewise, you have the shopping cart application, the bank and websites where the user session timeout value is set and monitored for every single user logging in and using the application. It is thus important for us to know where can we set the user session timeout value. And if we have specified the user session timeout value at more than one place, which one is going to take precedence over the other? And that is the whole purpose of making this video. So the application timeout value can be set at three different places. Firstly, it can be set in the application code itself. Second, it can be set in the application's web.xml, which is the descriptor for the application. And third, it can be set in the weblogic.xml or the config.xml, which is nothing but your application server's administration console, which is at the server level. Uh, but anyways, so what this diagram shows is the session timeout specified on the application layer, which could be the JSP, the server, the property file reading from the property files has the highest preference versus what is specified in the web.xml, uh, which has a lower preference and the least preference is given to what is specified in the weblogic.xml config.xml on the server level. So I have a small application. Uh, let's let's discuss the application. I have this particular application with me. It is called uh, HTTP session application. It has index.jsp. Now this particular line is commented. Okay, this is commented because of this double slash. This is how you comment a line in a JSP. And session dot get max inactive interval. This particular code will give me the session timeout value that this particular application has. So as of now, I'm not setting triple phi as the timeout. I'm not setting that because I've commented it out. Okay. So there's nothing in the code as such. So if you look at uh, back at the diagram, there's nothing in this code that I have. Okay. Now let's go to the web hyphen INF and you have the web.xml here, which is the application level XML file. Now here also you can specify the session timeout. Here it is 15 minutes. So if you, you know, convert this to seconds, it will come around 900 seconds. But this is also commented out. And then this, this is how you comment out any XML file. So this is also commented out as of now. So this will won't take effect. And what we have is the uh, weblogic.xml, which corresponds to the config.xml, which is the server level setting where you have set the timeout to triple seven. Okay, 777. So the question for which we are looking an answer for is, if different session values are specified at multiple places, with the application code, the web.xml or the weblogic.xml, which one will take effect? And once we have the understanding of the order from which the JVM prefers this value, it will not just help us debug so many issues around HTTP sessions. You can take this learning, this understanding, or any values which can be set across the application. So currently this is what, see this is not commented, but this is what we have active triple seven. So we expect the timeout to be triple uh, seven as of now. 
this is the uh, entire HTTP session application that I have. Okay guys, now let me just go ahead and install this particular application. So this is where my application is. You see HTTP session application, you say next, next, target it to the admin server. And this is all the deployment is completed. Triple seven is what we are expecting to be the session timeout based upon triple seven being set in the weblogic.xml and that's the only setting we have as of now. I click on the application, uh, I click on the configuration and you see on the weblogic console it is reflecting triple seven. I did not set it on the weblogic console but it is actually picking this value from the uh, weblogic.xml that we just saw. Let me go to the testing and launch the application. You see triple seven. I'm sorry for the font. It's small, but I hope you can clearly see it's triple seven that gets printed. Uh, if you go back to this diagram, we saw triple seven over here. Okay. Let me just write it down. Now the point is, let's see if I put some other value in the web dot XML, will it override the session timeout, which means will it take preference or precedence over the web logic dot XML, which we you know, theoretically we understand, yes, it should. So let's see it practically happen. I go to the web.xml and while this was commented, okay, I'm just removing the comments. I save the file. Now both weblogic.xml, which is the application server level setting and the application level setting, both are trying to set the session timeout value. So there's a conflict basically. So let's see you know which one takes precedence here okay which one takes precedence so what i'm going to do is after making the changes in the web.xml i'll have to redeploy the application or probably update the application i'm updating the application it just takes a while okay the application has been updated i click on testing again and let me launch the application let's see what it shows this time uh before i launch let me just let me just confirm that you know, it's 15 minutes, which is 900 seconds. So the output should be 900. Let me just launch and it would overwrite triple seven. You see the output is 900. And finally, what we are going to do is if you go back to the diagram, this is further overridden and preferred, uh, you know, on the application layer. Uh, if you set the uh, session timeout value on the application level, this will supersede this. So let's do that. Let's launch the index.jsp and remove the comments and we are setting triple five here. So 777 got overridden by 900, which would now be overridden by triple five. And let me just make a small note uh, that we did see 900 being reflected here. Okay. And let's see if triple five gets reflected now. I'm again going to update the application. Okay, and now I'm going to launch the particular application URL and see if the, you know, if the application level settings overrides the web.xml and the server level settings. I click on the application, I go to testing and I expect the output to be triple five in order, in order, you know, for our theory to be correct. Let me launch the application. And th there you go. You can see triple five. So with this, I guess, you know, guys, this will actually help you be very sure about the behavior of what is being preferred. We have a lot of property files in our environment. We have a lot of uh, server level settings in the web uh, application level settings and the code level settings. Now you understand the order in which the uh, Java would prefer if it finds the same value being set at multiple you know locations in your application guys i hope you found this interesting and helpful and if you did please uh, like to share and do comment if you further want to do some test if you find something new if you want to share something around this i'll appreciate you know we can further dwell into technology thank you so much have a good day